Hi, I'm Kathy. We're with Petteek. Here at Petteek, we develop non-toxic pet products that are safe for your dogs, your cats, and your small animals so they can live a longer and healthier life. At the same time, we help make the planet a cleaner place to live in for us and our future generations. Edie is here today to answer most of the questions you guys may have about Pomeranians and if Pomeranians are the right fit for you. Edie, who has been breeding Pomeranians for 25 years and it definitely wasn't on purpose. This fell into your lap, didn't it? We actually fell in love with um, a pair of Pomeranians that we adopted ooh, over like 25, 26 years ago. They just had puppies and we're like, oh my gosh, we wanted to keep them all, but we couldn't. And the place that we were living was too small and the owners didn't allow so many animals. We said, okay, well, we're going to give them away. And people are like, no, we don't want to give them away. We want to give you something. You've done so much with them. So after that, it started off as not a business, but finding loving family and 90% of the families that I find are Pomeranian owners were either their Pomeranian has either passed away or lost or for whatever reason but they had Pomeranians for years it's um not a business it's something that I feel so helpful and happy to be able to help families that do want a Pomeranian and what a better way to bring up a baby like if it's your child because these are my kids these are not my animals or my pets these are my kids they eat better than I do they play and have all the amenities to begin what is the importance of looking for a responsible breeder the most important thing is making sure that that person is an actual person nowadays in this time there are so many people out there that are scamming and then just trying to rob people of not only their happiness but of everything that they're waiting for they're anxious to, to see and have some people are like oh yeah sure okay then they look online and they find these people that just take them for the money and they go through so much heartache because the, the puppies are sick because they don't provide no vaccines no nothing what kind of personalities do Pomeranians have all Pomeranians have different characters personalities most of them are always sweet full of energy some they depend maybe they need more and more attention mm -hmm. you know they feel jealous a lot of them are very mm -hmm. jealous there's some that are very picky there's some that are spunky and there's some that are a little bit kind of mean you know depending on how you raise them from the beginning that you have them in your home. Their personality is based on how the owner trains them too as well. Yes. Right? When do you start training them? She's already been, been trained since they're four weeks. Like now here, these here are four weeks. They're brothers and sisters. These are two girls and one boy. That is just a girl. She's seven and a half weeks. And this one right here, they are four weeks. So right now they're getting trained on how to be inside, how to look for their puppy pad so they can try to go to the bathroom there. That's when the training starts. Are they easy to train? Um, Depending if you have time. If you don't have time and you're working, you have to work around your also work schedule so the best thing that I recommend is the the morning that you're gonna go to the bathroom when you wake up you take them out you bring them back in you go and finish up what you gotta do before you leave just make sure that they have food and water what type of humans are Pomeranians best suited for that's a very hard question because I've had run into a couple of people that say, yeah I want the palm but they only wanted the Pomeranian to carry them in their purse and that's not what a Pomeranian is for a Pomeranian is to be your companion someone that's gonna be very happy and always outgoing because their energy is gonna I mean fill your home that is so true I have a Pomeranian and he always looks like he's trying to talk to you and they always do want to play I feel like I know when they want to play when they want to use the restroom now or when they want to trade is there a difference between a male Pomeranian or a female Pomeranian females are more um, jealous more sassy and always want to play and the males there they want to play but they don't <laughs> want to play with you sometimes mm -hmm. they'd rather go and chase the the birds or the balls or see what's out there and they chase the lizards and the bees and all kinds of things. <laughs> they're doing the hunting. <laughs> yeah, they're little boys. They're just like little boys. So they like to go out there and play with everything they can find. How big do Pomeranians get? There are different sizes and breeds of Pomeranian. There is a teacup, which is a teeny, 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 tiny teacup that fits into a teacup. And those are very dainty and, and very fragile. You have to be very careful. You have to have a lot of experience to be able to take care of and maintain those kind of breeds. And there's the toys, which is these here are all toy Pomeranians. And then there's the bigger breed. It weighs about maybe 7 to 11 pounds. And a lot of them stay short, like one foot tall, and weigh about 3 to, to 5 to 6 pounds. How often do you have to groom Pomeranians? I groom mine at least twice a month because what I do is I bathe them more in the summer, but during the winter, um, I make sure that they have their full coats because then they get very cold in the areas that we're in. Because you have to think, they can get frostbite too. Or, you know, just like in the sun, I highly recommend don't taking them out onto the asphalt mm -hmm. or the sidewalks because it's very, very hot. It will burn their feet. But they need to get our strollers to protect them from yes. the heat. When 
when you say grooming, is that also washing, like bathing, or yeah. just cutting, trimming their hair? That's everything, bathing and, and also trimming their, their nails so they don't get caught in the carpets mm -hmm. or in other cloth or, or clothing or shoes. That they, it could hurt yeah, them. it could hurt them and it could pull their nails. You gotta make sure that their nails are clipped. Also their teeth, their teeth are very important. If you don't have a toothbrush for them, I highly recommend the baby, it's like a baby finger, like a plastic thing and it has like a scrubber yeah. and you could scrub them down to get them started on that process. Mm -hmm. It also helps with TV. How much exercise does a Pomeranian need? 24 seven within one day from six o'clock in the morning, sometimes at five o'clock in the morning, they're out. They have a lot of energy, they need a lot of exercise. If you provide them with plenty of toys, they'll be happy. So Petite has plenty of toys, flush toys, hip toys. How long does the average Pomeranian live? The average Pomeranian lives, depending on also the lifestyle that you provide them with mm -hmm. the healthy foods right. and the healthy environment and plenty of exercise and the health care. They could last up to, what, 15 to 16 years. I think it is so cool there are different types of breeds of Pomeranians. Can you tell us more about that? Different types of breeds are the sizes and also the colors. Like here you'll see a standard Pomeranian. It's a regular size Pomeranian. He'll grow up to be about maybe um, 9 to 11 pounds. He'll stay short. He's got little short legs. I can't move him too much because he's sleeping. And then there's other Pomeranians here. I have two different styles of morals. This is a black with a gray moral Pomeranian and this is a brown with a chocolate brown and the freckles Pomeranians. These two will have the hazel eyes. And then here is a regular toy Pomeranian. She'll weigh about four to, to five pounds as also these two here will weigh about four to five pounds and stay very small. What I do is I provide the pictures from the day they're born to the day they go home. When they have their first shots, when they start walking, when they're eyes open, you know, the whole process. So this way they're going through them, they save those memories. If they have any, any questions, they can always feel free to call me or email me. And I'm always there to make sure that the process is smooth and that they are aware of any other things that they need to know, any tips, give as much information as I can so that they have a great transition from my home to theirs. When you find a good home for a puppy, what do you do to make sure they are ready for their forever home? First and foremost, they have to have their vaccines. Mm -hmm. They don't go or leave my home until they have their vaccines. They they're deworming. The deworming starts, the process starts when they're like two weeks old. The vaccines start when they're five to six weeks, depending on their size and their weight. Then from that, I go through the processes that they're able to go to the bathroom, they're able to eat and chew and drink water, and that they're able to go from the location where I put them in their bed, and then to find the water and the food. They have to be able to be independent, because if they can't do that, then they can't go. And we provide a puppy package for each puppy. And the puppy package consists of their toy, their blankie, their vaccine records, and a little pouch of the food that they are eating and also the little um, can of the mixed food so that way you can mix dry and wet. So your Pomeranian currently is making a noise. Do you know what? He's looking for his mother. Oh, he's, he's looking hungry. for his mother. Yeah, oh. they ate this morning, but they eat every two hours. Sometimes him, since he's pretty big, he likes to eat every 20 minutes. It is possible to overfeed them, right? Yes, it's wrong though. You need to make sure that they don't get overfed because then they can get um, stomach issues where they'll be going to the bathroom every few seconds and it's going to go and it's going to be hurting them because they don't know what's going on. Why are they going to the bathroom so much? And and they'll go into like crying and they're uncomfortable. It's just like a baby when a baby drinks too much food and it has colic, stomach cramps, and you're not knowing what's going on, but they're the same thing. Thank you so much for telling us so much about Pomeranian. Let's definitely get him home to his mother so he could eat, but remember to like and follow us for more awesome videos. Thank you, Edie, for answering questions about Pomeranian. And I hope you guys all love this video. If you guys have any more questions, leave it in the comments below or email us at info at